It's the weekend, April 23rd and 24th. So this is when we get to Earth Day. The sun is in Taurus. The moon is in Aquarius. They do not match. Let's start there. So you might be feeling tension this weekend, especially if you're a Scorpio or a Leo. It's like the sky is not in your favor. Now, the moon is in Aquarius. It's conjunct Saturn and squaring Uranus. So the sun and the moon are in Aquarius, squaring Uranus, and there's count them five fixed signs. If a baby were born with this configuration, sun and moon are fixed. There's five fixed. There's a square. You get one of those stubborn kids. And we all know those kids, people, that when you say to them, hey, let's go the other way to get to work today. No, I'd like to drive this way. You take your own car, that's what they say. Or you say to them, here, I brought you this dinner. It's slightly different. Don't bring me a slightly different dinner. You know the people that like routine and they have to have things the way they want them and they don't want you to do it differently? That's the fixed energy. And by the way, stubborn as they are, you can count on them. They're reliable, they're dependable, and they're always on time. Welcome to a baby born with this configuration. Frustrated energy at worst because the air in the sky, the moon in Aquarius wants to change it up. And Taurus is like, you said it, you meant it. And then they get into a conflict, internal. That's what would happen at the low level of a baby being born. The high level is such a gift of kindness, Taurus, and Aquarius, the most humanitarian, a person who really concerns themselves with the other and being so fixed or strong. And let me tell you the two birthdays we have. I love these two people. It's going to date me, so don't get mad. Shirley Temple. <gasps> Do you know who she was? She had all these little curls and she sang and she made everybody feel like she was their new best friend. And of course, that was her little Taurus energy, born on the cusp. And the other one is Barbara Streisand, who in my dreams I have done a reading for. I wish I could tell you I did it in real life. But when she opens up that Taurus heart voice, nothing to me compares to the tonality of that voice. Taurus, we love you. And yes, you get stubborn. And yes, Barbara Streisand is famous for being stubborn. I had a client that worked with her and said, oh my. However, you can't argue with the Taurus who's so beautiful when they open up their voice. There's angels that come out. Just think about it. Go put on her song, People. People who need people are the luckiest people in the world. That makes me want to cry. Okay, um, guess what? This was brought to you by Deborah Silverman. And Astrology Answers. If you're like me, you're ready for more, and I have really good news. I'm teaching again, and I want to help you discover your significant planet or the planets that are really influencing your psychology because you have a purpose and a contract that you agreed to before you arrived here on this planet. And the quickest path that I found for figuring out your purpose is through studying first the planets. When you figure out that significant planet, there goes the confusion and suddenly you feel so much more comfortable being yourself. Click the link in the description to learn more about the planets, my very best friends.